Welcome to Woodson for our annual Back to School Night. By way of introduction, my name is Dan Meyer. I'm a retired Fairfax County principal. I served for 10 years as the principal of Robinson Secondary School, and two years previous to that, I was at Rocky Run Middle School. So 12 years as an administrator, 30 years in Fairfax County, and the Fairfax County Central Office has asked me to serve as the interim principal until we find a replacement for Mr. Yost. Mr. Yost is a good friend of mine. I'm very, very familiar with Woodson High School, one of the flagship schools of the Fairfax County system. I have great admiration for the school and the community, and I'm honored to be asked to serve as the interim principal. Hope you have a great back to school night. Get to know the faces and the names that you've been hearing about around the dinner table the last few weeks. Uh, I'm also going to now introduce a video. We are piloting a parent view system, something that's been talked about in Fairfax County for 15, 20 years, about a system that allows you to get up to the date information on your child, your son or daughter's grades uh, in real time here uh, from right from the teacher's grade books. So you're going to have a short video on it. We realize that as a pilot, there's going to be some glitches in the, in the system, but we're going to work very, very hard to roll this out well and help you access all the information you need. I've always said Fairfax County does a great job with our schools, but our high schools do get large. So we want our parents to be assertive, to be involved, to be active in their child's education. It's a time when your children want you to give them a little uh, leeway, but still they're teenagers and they need mom and dad. So uh, here's the video. Have a great night. I'll be in the hallways. I look forward to getting to know many of you. Welcome to the Fairfax County Public Schools SIS Parent Account. You will receive a letter from your child's school with your SIS Parent Account registration information. The web address in the letter will take you to the registration page. Click on the link to activate your SIS Parent Account. Read the SIS Parent Account Privacy Policy and then click I Agree. Enter your first and last name exactly as it is written in the letter and enter the activation key. Click Submit. On the FCPS Parent Credential page, enter and confirm your email address. This will be your username for your SIS Parent account. Create a password for your account. Your password must contain a minimum of eight characters at least one uppercase letter, at least one lowercase letter, and at least one number. As you meet the password requirements, you will see the information at the top of the screen change from red to green. You will receive a confirmation email. You must click on the link in this email to complete the account process. This will take you to the welcome page. After your account has been created, you will receive an email at the email address which is on file with FCPS as notification that a parent account was created. The link on this page takes you to the SIS Parent Account login page. Please bookmark this site. Log in using your username and password. Once logged in, you will see your child's picture if it is available. On the calendar, you will find assignments. Clicking on the assignment allows you to view the details. Here you will find a link to email the teacher about the assignment. The attendance link provides information about absences and tardies. Clicking on the links will provide more details. Class schedule displays your child's schedule. Course history lists credit bearing courses with the mark received. Verified credit information is also provided. Course Requests lists the courses that your child has requested for the next school year. A course description is shown by clicking on the arrow icon. Any discipline incidents are shown in the Discipline section. The gradebook provides a list of your child's classes. When you click onto a class, your child's assignments for that course will be listed. Information about the assignment is provided including the score and any comments if they have been entered. 
Clicking on an assignment gives you more details about the assignment. Any health conditions are listed in the health conditions summary. Immunizations can also be found. The report card link shows your child's report card. Scrolling down, you will find the FCPS grading scale. School information contains contact information about the school and staff members. And student information contains information about your child. FCPS links provide links to FCPS sites. The My Account page contains your information. Here, you can only update your primary email address. All other changes must be done through WeCare or at your child's school. Please note, changing your email address does not change your CIS parent account username. Click on Help for assistance with navigation as well as frequently asked questions. Thank you for using your CIS parent account as another way for schools and families to communicate.